Thanks for getting us going, fellas. My name is John Pittman for all of our new people joining, and I'm here with some of your weekly industry news updates. So we're all wondering, will digital asset securities become mainstream institutional investments? Well, that was one finding from a new report published by ARCA Asset Management, where they say that all securities could go digital over the next five to 10 years. Its report was based on a July 2021 survey that compiled responses from over 100 financial service professionals, including those who work in buy-side firms, banks, brokerages, exchanges, and market infrastructure and technology firms. The authors of the report also wrote that digital asset securities, otherwise known as security tokens, are often overshadowed by others in the market, such as video gaming and NFTs. While we're on the subject of NFTs, crypto's favorite SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce is of the mindset that the governmental agency, the SEC, needs to issue some guidance on non-fungible tokens. She states that as a regulator, it's something she's watching because the growth has been astounding, and right now people are certainly thinking about ways that they can use the idea of an NFT in the financial space. Let's see, how astounding is the growth? NFT trading volume surged in the third quarter of 2021, increasing by 704% from the previous quarter, and then a more than 38,000% year over year. And that's according to the stats from DAP Radar, which is a data and analysis company. So far, lawmakers and regulators are quiet and have not publicly spoken extensively about NFTs, even though they should. Here is something regulators are talking about. Apparently, the SEC is reportedly reviewing some of the high-yield crypto lending products offered by Gemini, Celsius Network, and Voyager Digital. According to a report published on Bloomberg, the SEC is conducting an inquiry into digital asset lending services. The main focus of the inquiry is reportedly around whether the crypto lending services could be considered securities and therefore must be registered with the commission. The main concern reportedly lies with the high yield offering, which are considerably higher than most savings accounts that banks offer. Rates offered by these crypto lending services range from three all the way up to 18%, while traditional bank savings accounts offer around 0.1%. So if you didn't know, bank savings accounts are insured by the FDIC in the event of bank failure or theft, which protects investors, while the crypto lending services, on the other hand, are not insured. Accusations of wrongdoing have not been issued yet, but the SEC are having growing concerns over investor protection. Moving on, we have IHS Markets partnering with Medico, a software security provider. IHS Market is a global information company with experts in multiple areas that understand today's business landscape. Areas such as energy, geopolitical risk, supply chain, and in today's case, financial markets. From this data, solutions are created. And under that umbrella, there is a securities process solution that IHS Markets intends to utilize in this partnership. Medico also has its own solution to bring to the table and it's called Harmonize. Harmonize is a secure digital asset solution that secures, automates, and standardizes trades, settlements, and corporate action life cycles. The IHS Market Securities Process Solution enables clients to replace multiple applications and discrete processes with a cloud platform and integrated post-trade framework, while Medical Harmonize enables institutions to securely manage any end-to-end -end digital asset use cases from cryptocurrency custody and trading to tokenization, smart contract management, and decentralized finance. An official out of IHS Market stated that they are excited to partner with Medico to provide a unified, integrated solution for the secure orchestration of digital asset workflows and the safekeeping of digital assets, along with traditional assets. Something else to get excited about, FTX just announced that they are launching FTX cards partnering with Visa that will enable users to spend their crypto balances at merchants across the world. So how this works is that FTX card users will pay by card wherever Visa is accepted and will be using their exchange balances, which actually hold their digital assets. These assets, in turn, will be automatically converted into the required fiat at the time of payment. Just to reiterate, the crypto held within your FTX account will automatically exchange the exact amount of crypto into fiat at the point of sale, allowing you to keep your remaining crypto as crypto. Of course, this means that users will have to have instant access to spend their crypto 24 hours a day, which they will. The best part is that FTX is offering this option for free since they are not charging any administrative or processing fees. You know what, I love this attitude from Visa because it shows that they are willing to adapt the technology and actually give the people what they want. They're not trying to get blockbuster. Speaking of, there's a heavy hitting blockbuster coming out this week. I'm talking about the weekly SEO updates with our superstar Megan. Well, catch you guys next week on the other side of the blockchain.